guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the Paracone MD No Makeup Makeup line. And there are a few goodies that I suggest running out and buying, but after you watch this video. So if you would like to see me try on all these products and my thoughts, please keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just apply the primers that I would normally use. So I'm going to be applying a little bit of my Caudalie Grape Water Spray. I love this stuff. If you want something that has, that's going to give you a little bit more hydration, I suggest checking this out. I got this at Sephora. It was like $24 and you get 6.7 ounces. It's so worth the money. Next, I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Primer Water. So now I'm just going to wait for those two things to kind of dry on my face and then I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. And normally when I apply primer, I like to work like in the center of my face and then kind of blend out the product outwards. Okay, so now I'm going to be trying out the foundation. I do have a feeling it's going to be a little bit too dark because when I did buy this, I was a little bit more tan. So I ended up getting the shade number two, but I think I should have purchased shade number one because normally I'm only tan about two or three months out of the year and then the rest of the nine to ten months I'm this shade or paler so I should have done that so that's my bad. But I figured if it's too dark, I can just mix in some of my NYX um white foundation mixer that I have but let's go ahead and try this I'm so excited so inside the box you get this bottle right here this is one full ounce and it's the no foundation foundation and then you also get a pump for it so on the back of the box it says that it recommends you apply it with your fingertips but I'm not going to do that um it says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply every two hours normally that only says that on BB and CC cream so I don't know if that's what this is trying to say that it is so I just went ahead and went over to the Sephora app because the box wasn't really saying much um, it says this foundation is good for normal combination dry and sensitive skin it says it's an anti-aging treatment foundation that is designed to perfect your complexion with a semi-matte finish and a non-chemical SPF 30. It says the solutions are for fine lines and wrinkles, dryness, dark spots, and uneven skin tone. It says that the serum instantly softens imperfections and minimizes the appearance of pores and wrinkles. And it has the neuropeptides or wait with neuropeptides without settling into fine lines a luxurious fluid texture leaves a semi-matte suede finish with a breathable second skin effect and the lightweight serum contains a non-irritating natural sunscreen that protects skin from the age accelerating rays of sun this also suggests that you use your fingertips but i'm i'm really not going to do that <laughs> so i'm just going to use my beauty blender um normally i would do half my side with a brush and half my side or half the other side with a beauty blender but when normally when i use like liquids like this i already know that a beauty blender or a damp sponge is going to be like the best way for me to apply it it's normally like the thicker foundations like the full coverage ones that i know i'm going to get better coverage with a brush so i'm just going to go ahead and shake it up and then I'm just going to go ahead and add this little pump onto it. The only thing I noticed though is there's no lid for that pump. I love that you can attach a pump. That is so awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. I'm an idiot. Okay, so it does have like one of those um, protective like cl plastic clasps that you can put on it and take it off so that way it doesn't squirt everywhere. So does look like it's going to be a little bit too dark so I'm just going to start off with three pumps mine's like I don't know if you guys can see that but mine has like weird little like bumps in it yeah this is going to be way too dark maybe not it's kind of blending in really well I think I am going to get a coverage of like a BB cream I don't think I'm going to get like this is just going to like even out my skin tone, but I'm not going to get like any coverage of it. Because that was three pumps right there and I can still see. Like I think it looks nice. It makes my skin look like super glowy. 
even though it's the wrong shade but I think this would be good for those no makeup makeup days for sure or if you already have like really good skin but you just want like more of like an even skin tone or just like a light layer of something this would be good for you because it does look I can't really tell until I go back to edit it it looks like it's kind of melting into my skin but then it also looks too dark I can't really tell But it kind of has like a chemically smell to it, so I don't really like that. I feel like I look a little orange, like in my viewfinder, but... Hopefully when we try out the concealer, it'll help lighten it up a bit. So, so far I used, I think, five pumps. I should have wore a higher up shirt so you couldn't tell that it was too dark but yeah I think it gave me like a really healthy glow I should have got the zero one shade like I thought but in the summertime if you didn't want a super thick foundation this would be good like this reminds me of like a BB cream so I'm just gonna do like I don't know we'll do like four more pumps I'm using so much of this um, I'm just gonna do four more pumps and see if we can build it up again it just there's like this weird texture in it I don't know if you guys can see it but it's kind of weird but I guess it okay let me take that back so I think the texture does remind me of the what is that I think it's the Garnier BB cream that I like it has that weird kind of like bubbly formula I hope that makes sense like that's what this reminds me of and it's like really sticky like a BB cream so I'm trying to build it up and it doesn't look like it's doesn't really look like it's doing much I mean I guess my face looks a little darker but it's a really sticky I don't know if you guys can hear that or not but it's super sticky and then I'll just put a little bit more on my forehead I used so many pumps. How many did I use? I think like 10. <laughs> but, oh well. It's not like I'm going to be able to use this again. Oh my god, I feel like I look straight orange. But I'm not going to be able to use this foundation realistically until like summertime, so. Alright. So, I used about 10 pumps. And I mean, it gave me light coverage, maybe kind of medium, very low but high light coverage. So I think it looks pretty nice. I like how it looks, again, it's really sticky and it is the wrong shade, but it looks nice. It looks like really healthy, like a really healthy glow. And this foundation retails for $60. Wow. Oh my goodness. So next we're going to be trying out the No Concealer Concealer. Um, it's in number two. I don't know if there's more than one shade. So my concealer box just says shade number two, but it looks like there are three shades. There's a... Oh, okay, so it says new. So I believe I have the shade Light to Medium Peachy Beige. Then they also added a new shade called Fair and then another shade called Medium. So this says it's a multitasking anti-aging treatment concealer with SPS, SPF 35. It's an eye primer, highlighter, and blemish coverage in one. It says the No Concealer Concealer is a versatile concealer designed to fade away dark circles and help support natural collagen with vitamin C, crease proof and hydrating, and it instantly brightens and corrects skin undertones without settling in, into imperfections. This also says to apply with your ring finger. This retails for... $35. That's really expensive for a concealer. But I wonder if it just costs more because it has like skincare in it. That could be the case. So in the concealer you get 0.3 ounces and it is like kind of a flat doe foot. So let's hope that this helps brighten up how dark this foundation is. Um, I don't know. This smells familiar but I don't know. It reminds me of something 
something from like a flower store. Weird. I've smelled this smell before. So I'm just gonna do about that much. It looks like it's gonna help brighten up. Um, I'm gonna be using this, this Real Techniques sponge. I haven't tried it out yet, so I'm just gonna try this. Normally I would apply my concealer with a brush, which I think I might actually have to do. Cause I feel like sponges always steal my concealer. I don't know. This definitely is a light coverage concealer, that's for sure. Like, I can still see my dark circles. It looks like it brightened up the inner corner, but I feel like out here, it just, like, I can still see some darkness. So I'm gonna try a brush for the other side. I'm just gonna use this Morphe E8. It's what I would normally use to blend out my concealer. Let's see if we get more coverage. What do you guys think? It looks almost the same to me. We'll see. I'll just blend this out on my forehead. It does blend out really nicely. And then for some reason, I always have to blend out the concealer on my nose with a sponge because the brush won't do it. I don't know. It's so weird. I'm going to apply a little bit more concealer just right here. I just want to see if you can build it up and I'm going to blend it in with my brush this time. Um, I think I got a little bit more coverage, but not a whole lot. So that's what we have. I think it looks really nice. I'm curious to see if it really is, isn't going to crease because it says it's a creaseless concealer. So I think it looks nice. Next up, we have the No Bronzer Bronzer, which is probably what I'm most excited for. This retails for $35 and you get 0.3 ounces. So it does look like there's a little bit of like an illuminator in it. Like I can see like a little bit of like a silver reflect and then it comes with a dropper as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Shake it up. This says it's an innovative serum designed to contour youthful definition while imparting an elegant veil of warm color and protecting with SPF 30. This says the no bronzer bronzer mimics healthy skin pigment with one universally flattering shade and diffuses imperfection and sun damage with vitamin C ester or Easter, not sure. When used as a contouring serum, it accentuates youthful definition. Mix no bronzer bronzer with no foundation foundation to personalize color, color and achieve an endless number of shades. I can't read today. This says it just recommends shaking well before using. Dispense one to two drops into fingertips, rub together, and gently pat on your forehead, cheeks, chin, nose, blah, blah, blah. You can highlight and contour, add no foundation foundation, or blush, blush to warm and customize color. So I'm just going to apply like, I don't know, six drops or so on the back of my hand. Like so, it's really runny. And then I'm just going to swirl it around so I can dip my brush into it easier. This is what I normally do when I use liquid bronzers. I just put it on the back of my hand like that and then I pick it up with my sponge. So let's try this out. I'll do one side and then we'll compare. But it's like blending out really nice. So I have one side bronze and then the other side with no bronzer. I think it looks nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this other side. I think it blends out really nice. I could definitely see myself grabbing this. I love liquid bronzers. I know I never really see a lot of people on YouTube use them, but I love them.
And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do one more drop so I can get some on my nose. So I'm just gonna take the pointier side and just kind of contour my nose. the bottom of my lip and my cupid's bow I have a little left over so I'm just gonna put a little bit more bronzer on my cheeks next up we have the no blush blush this also has SPF of 30 so I'm just gonna assume everything in this line has SPF of 30 this retails for $35 I'm telling you, it just must be expensive because it has skincare benefits in it. That has to be it. And what I noticed too is like pretty much everything we've used so far is rated almost five stars on Sephora. So people must not mind the prices too much. So this says it's a revolutionary cheek serum. It is designed to shape softly rounded cheekbones and impart a healthy perfusion of color. The No Blush Blush restores the color and radiance of youthful cheeks while addressing compromised architecture of cheekbones with DMAE. A universally flattering youthful rosy glow in a self-adjusting shade. It stimulates the flush of youth. Personalized with no bronzer bronzer. And then it says apply one to three dots on the ball of the cheeks and gently pat while blending in a lifting upward motion towards the hairline. And this comes with like a little doe fit as well. So I guess I'm just going to try to blend this one out with, I don't know, it said three dots and I used like six. I'm just going to use my sponge. And it seems to be blending out pretty good. I think that's pretty and it blended out really nice. I think though that if you're gonna apply it, you need to work quickly because I can see this drying really fast. I think I got a little bit more on this side than I did on the other. I mean, it looks like it's kind of disappearing, or is it just me? Hmm. Maybe I'll do like one more dot, and then I'll try to blend it out with my finger like they suggested. Hmm. I still think I prefer, well, it looks like you get more color when you apply with a finger. I think if I was going to do this, I would still go over it with my sponge. Well, now I gotta even up the side. So, I almost think three drops would be too much. I used like so many. But if you're gonna apply it with your finger, I think one drop would be good. Kind of patchy. It's like when I first applied it, it looked okay, but now it just looks patchy. So, I don't know how I feel about this. So, so far that might be the first thing that I don't really like. Everything else was good, I think. I don't know. Mm. So this is the second thing I'm most excited for and it's the No Highlighter Highlighter. It looks so pretty. It looks super metallic. So this retails for $35 as well. Um, it says the unique color treatment serum formulated to impart instant luminosity and brighten the, comple the complexion. I don't know what I was saying. Um, it says it's designed with light reflecting pearls to bring instant radiance to skin. It's formulated with a vitamin C ester to help brighten the skin and diffuse imperfections caused by sun damage. It says the light reflecting pigments that allow for a subtle luminous complexion. It combines Dr. Paracone's legendary anti-inflammatory technology with cutting edge makeup science to restore skin's natural health and inner glow. So this also says to apply with fingertips, which I probably will do. And it comes with a dofa as well. Let's do this. Oh, I'm gonna do a lot. That looks really pretty. You definitely didn't need this much, but. Oh, this is gorgeous. I bet you could mix this in with a foundation. I think that looks so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I 
does give like a healthy glow like I would use this maybe like mix in with other foundations or maybe even this one that looks so pretty it is like a super natural glow this might just be pretty with the just like moisturizer if you didn't want to put on any foundation oh I'll carry it over I did a little too much and I'm gonna do here do it all over my lids actually I know they have a no eyeshadow eyeshadow but when I got all this stuff they didn't have that out yet so I didn't get a chance to get my hands on it and I didn't want to like put this video off even longer so if you've tried the no eyeshadow eyeshadow let me know what you think if it's worth it or not I still think that would look just so pretty if you didn't want to wear makeup for the day and you just put on like your normal like moisturizer and like skincare routine and then just put this everywhere you wanted a highlight. Oh my gosh, it would look so pretty. Next up, I'm going to be trying out the No Mascara Mascara. This retails for $30 as well. So this says it's a lash treatment and mascara in one designed to define longer fuller lashes and neuropeptides and biotin. It's a two-in-one lash treatment and mascara clinically proven to impart the appearance of more lifted, thicker lashes. It nourishes conditions and, st and strengthens lashes with each application. A revolutionary and highly specialized dual face root-to-tip brush and fine-tooth comb ensure application precision. And it has, it's just a universal shade to adapt to all skin tones. Let's go ahead and look at the wand. It looks like it's like a brown shade. The wand is really interesting. Ooh. I actually like this brush. Got it on my eyelid, so I'll have to clean that up. would be a good mascara for those no makeup makeup days as well so that's with and without I think it looks really nice I swear I make a huge mess whenever I apply mascara never fails so I think it did a really good job separating and lengthening my lashes it's like the first time a mascara actually did what it says it's going to do for me I swear so I'm just gonna let that coat dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and um, use a q-tip and get off the mascara I got on my lids and then I'm gonna try to apply like one more coat so I went ahead and let that mascara dry and then I applied a second coat and I'm obsessed I could definitely see myself grabbing this mascara again it's really good the only thing that sucks is the brush is a little bit too big to do the lower lashes I made a huge mess and it was a kind of difficult to flick off so that's the only downside and I just went ahead and did like a natural brow I just used my MAC brow pencil that came in my BoxyCharm a while ago so next up we have lips so they don't offer a lip liner and I need one so I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with Dervish it's kind of like a my lips but better liner by MAC So next up, we're going to be trying out the No Lipstick Lipstick. This retails for $30 as well. So this says is an anti-aging lip treatment. This has SPF of 15. It's designed to enhance lip contours and mimic the natural rosy color of youthful lips. The No Lipstick Lipstick restores the natural rosy color of youthful lips while deeply nourishing and conditioning. It smooths vertical lip lines with neuropeptides and is solid to serum texture allows for sheer buildable coverage. So I'm starting to think that this line of No Makeup Makeup is made for like more mature skin. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. I don't like that it's like completely flat like there's no point to it. It smells good though. 
Oh yeah, it looks like it's changing color. Ooh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. I could definitely see myself grabbing this too. Wow. I love the shade and I love how shiny it is. Love this. This might be my second favorite. My first favorite is the highlighter and this is my second. Well, I lie. This is my first favorite. And then the second favorite would be the highlighter. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So next up we have the No Lip Gloss Lip Gloss. And I thought Sephora had this, but then I just remembered I had to actually buy it from the Paracone website. So that's where I'm at right now. It retails for $30. It is, it says it's an anti-aging lip serum designed to restore color and shine of youthful lips formulated with neuropeptides, uh, tocotrienols, oh my god, I know, I just botched that, um, and non-chemical mineral-based SPF 15. This lightweight treatment helps to soften, plump, and hydrate lips. I love this lip color. Oh my god, I can't stop staring at it. This would be like... The perfect shade of lip color like this is the lip color that I always I'm like constantly looking for but can never find like so this is what it looks like I hope it's just as good as the lipstick I'm sure this is it this has like a flat doe foot thing as well oh it kind of stinks so I don't really need a lip gloss because this lipstick is like doing it but more of a color to it than I thought it was going to. Like I thought it was going to be more clear. I think it's pretty, but I think I prefer the shade of the lipstick more. But I think this would be pretty by itself, but I like the color of the lip lipstick without the gloss on top. So now that I have everything on, what do you guys think? Mine is the shade, we, we all know that it's a little too dark for me, but what do you guys think of my full face of no makeup makeup? That's actually no makeup makeup. I think it looks really nice. Like it's a nice healthy glow. I'm not a big fan of like the BB cream kind of formula. I wish they would come out with like an actual foundation, just maybe like a sheer foundation as opposed to the formula of this, but I think it looks really nice. My favorite, favorite thing from the whole um, line is the lips, like for sure. I can definitely see myself grabbing that lip color probably every day. Oh my God, so good. And then I love the mascara. The mascara is really nice too. But my face does feel really sticky. I don't know if I want to set it. I'm probably not. So since I'm not going to set it with any powder, I'm just going to go over a little bit with my Milani Make It Last. I don't know if this is going to do anything because I think setting sprays are just made to like calm down the powders that you put. And we have no powders on, but I figured I'll give it a try. So let's go ahead and talk about everything. I know we just kind of touched on the foundation. That is kind of like a... Um, I don't know. I am on the fence about the foundation. I think, like I said, if you like BB creams and CC creams, this would be for you and it has the skincare benefits. So I think it would be worth the $60. The concealer, I would probably pass on. I don't really like it. Like I, I didn't really like it. I have other concealers that I like more, so I'd probably skip on that. Um, let's see the mascara. I love, I can definitely see myself grabbing that. I like that you can build it up to make it look like a normal mascara, or you can just put like a light coat and get more of that no makeup makeup look. So I really like the mascara. I love the highlighter. The highlighter is like a 10 out of 10 for me. What else? The bronzer was good too. If you don't like liquid bronzers, I think this might be a good kind of like first step into using liquid bronzers because it blended out really nicely and I feel like you could build it up if you wanted to and it is a universal shade. So keep that in mind. Um, the blush, I think the blush was pretty. Is it something that I see myself grabbing a lot? Probably not. Like maybe if I'm in the mood for a cream or a liquid blush, I would use it, but I don't see myself grabbing that over like my normal like pressed powder blushes. Um, what else? We talked about the foundation, concealer, blush, highlighter, bronzer, mascara. Yeah, so I guess we just have the lips left. The lipstick, 
hands down my favorite from everything it is so good I do like the lip gloss as well but I prefer the lipstick I think the lip gloss would be really pretty on its own like not on top of the lip gloss the lipstick I think the lipstick is good by itself and I think the lip gloss would be good by itself I do think they look nice together but I think separately they're like amazing so okay guys this concludes my video testing out all of the Paracone no makeup makeup the only thing I was missing was the no eyeshadow eyeshadow I didn't even know that existed until er earlier today so like I said before if you've tried that let me know in the comments below if you think I should go get it if it's worth it or you know whatever so don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video slash try on slash tutorial and please subscribe on your way out if you would like to see more of me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!